लाइफ एंड डेथ डिपेंड ऑन दिस डिस्कोर्स दैट्स वॉट मेक्स द गीता स्पेशल दैट्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग ऑन द बैटल फील्ड ब्यूटिफुल ब्रेथ टेकिंग रियल my question is regarding karma i have uh, achieved achieved some things like i started reading bhagavad gita just two years ago and following the philosophy i have achieved quite a lot whenever i followed the principles of karma yoga doing duty equally poised i have achieved it what did you say uh, what did you say whenever you have followed the principles of karma yoga i have achieved what i set out but but there was uh, the the goal i have not set the goal but i have just worked towards it uh, as through the principles that are uh, in the gita that's it equipoised completely without uh, the attachment to goals and results that is so what have you achieved if there were no goals <clears throat> so i set out yes first of all i set out myself a goal then i forgot about the goal i just worked through the process that's what i'm saying but the goal was there right and you might have forgotten it and you set the goal and you worked towards it forgetting the goal yes it wasn't like it wasn't like a path that i'm just traveling without a direction what was the what was the goal to qualify an examination there is an examination called nimset that i qualified with first examination i qualified uh on my own completely on my own see congratulations that you qualified hmm? i am happy that you qualified but this that you are narrating is not karma yoga might be sir but uh, no not might be not might be if you are a seeker here then this is a very improper response to give are you actually so i i am learning things i won't say that particularly it's see this is how it feels when the audience is not even listening <laughs> this is not karmi o kid <laughs> who told you all these things hmm to qualify an entrance exam and work uh, towards it without thinking of the results that's not what karma yoga is anyway congratulations hmm? yes proceed with the question so sir my uh, initially uh, now when you have said that it is not karma yoga my question immediately it becomes involved so i'd uh, i'd like like to ask the other participants to continue hmm so i are you able to uh, get my voice yes now right so, so when you when you said that it was not karma yoga it, definitely isn't a question to be asked regarding that i guess if i said that is not karma yoga and if you are even trivially interested in learning at all must you not ask what is karma yoga then yes sir first first the first question i would ask not this question i lost your definitely voice. what is a karma so sir the the question that i was going to ask uh, pardon me for uh, being posing myself as a someone who no karma yoga just i understand that just reading the text and uh, i cannot and doing things on my own is like my own interpretation is karma yoga um, i would definitely look on on to those things but uh, now i i'm really intrigued as to what actually is karma yoga if you can tell first of all karma yoga is not about uh, setting tangible worldly targets and going after them hmm? it's a movement to 
मूमेंट थिंग इन विच यू आर वेरी कॉन्शियस whether the objective of your action is personal ingratiation or larger welfare hmm? you are acting all the time you are not acting merely when you act towards a distant and uh, and large cause karma is happening all the time right therefore karma yog has to be a moment to moment thing there is not a moment when you are not in action you are always acting so being utterly conscious where is my action coming from and what does it want to bring me these two are actually the same things and you have to be conscious of that am i working just to feed and fatten my own ego or is there a larger purpose the larger purpose can be called krishna or nishkamta or any other word of your choice hmm? even in this moment you must know how you are listening are you listening to defend your ego that is not karma yoga is the ego prepared to be dissolved through the action in this moment that is karma yoga life is dynamic different things are happening every moment you have a choice with respect to action karma yog is about exercising that choice very consciously what have i chosen to act for what do i want as a result of my action hmm? choosing a very tempting target or destination and then striving tirelessly towards it that may not be the best example of karma yoga karma yoga is uh, firstly not about the intensity of your action in the first place it is about the desire of your action what is it that you desire through your action typically the ego desires only its own pleasures through its actions so see spirituality is a living thing it is not a bundle of concepts when you said principles of karma yoga and principles in the gita there is a problem there are no principles at all in the gita 
गीता इज नॉट अ सिस्टम ऑफ थॉट इट्स अबाउट समथिंग इन द हार्ट दैट इज अलाइव एंड वॉचिंग एवरी मूमेंट a continuous knowledge of oneself and continuous empathy towards the other not principles really hmm? gita is a most widely read text it is also a most misunderstood text if you misunderstand a normal pamphlet not much damage done but if you misunderstand the highest document then a lot of damage has been done because what's going to come to save you now books like the gita are one's last and highest hope if even the last hope is lost or becomes ineffective then there is nothing left to come and save you no so one has to be extremely careful and that's why these holy scriptures have to be read again and again because one can rest assured that the initial interpretations are all very very misplaced one's own interpretations and as you go through the text repeatedly it's then that some clarity starts emerging and this process must actually never stop with every successive attempt you will find that you are uh, peeling off a layer of ignorance within a layer that you might not even have known to exist so remain uh, a student and they go wants to rather quickly believe that it has sized up even the scriptures keep it in check yeah yes sir thank you sir for that enlightenment and definitely i will uh, go through it once again and uh, will try to uh, like read the gita again and try to understand it make it a continuous process just once again yes sir just once again not once again it will i'll make that a continuous process yes good thank you thank you sir